one of the main things that's been a hot topic in the campaigns this past week is uh, we're going to bring more students in, you know, hear everybody's voice on campus if you want your voice heard, all that stuff. We've actually done that. I mean, there's a difference between saying your administration is going to run that way and saying our, our campaign has been run that way and this is how our platform was developed. This is, these ideas, I did not think of free printing the library. Uh, yeah, that came from one friend of our friends. Didn't know what ASU um, was. Just no finals before night. I don't know if that came from us either. Um, free online textbooks, I mean, there's all up and down here. I mean, these ideas are already um, from organizations we've tapped, from uh, student clubs to people in different classes to faculty in different areas. We would restructure ASCSU so that there's a more emphasis on um, uh, for senators and their priorities. Right now, it's pretty vague, but we would like to see signatures for uh, legislation they bring to the table. We'd like to see more in attendance to uh, student orgs uh, and utilize. You know, ASCSU does have some real power, and they they have some advantage, some, uh, some definite opportunities to do things for student orgs and uh, different areas of campus. And we want to make that obvious to student orgs. Recruit. And another little thing, I think just putting, make, creating is, giving, you know, your student government a face is obviously a goal of all, you know, administration in the past and all the tickets that are running now. They want kids to be more familiar with who their president is and who their senators are, who their vice president is. Uh, one of the things we've talked about, it's on our extended platform, um, is kind of just having a weekly uh, thing on the plaza where we would be up um, just on the stump, maybe just going over what we went over in the Senate. We know obviously it's not going to draw a huge crowd. It's not the most interesting thing in the world for a majority of students. You know, they're not going to come with their notebooks and what's ASU, what did ASCSU do this week. But at least they'll be walking by and they'll know, wow, there's Conrad. He's crazy. He's always out here every Thursday at lunchtime. I know his face is. Uh, you know, he, I, if, I, if I had to get involved or I had a question, I'd know exactly where to walk up and ask it. Um, we could have senators rotating in doing those kind of things. So just be, like I said, even though it's not, we're not, we wouldn't expect to generate a huge crowd and people to be, you know, waiting for us to, to give these presentations every week. At least they would know, you know, who it is. Because, you know, a lot of times kids don't know who the president is at the school. And, and that's, you know, not necessarily anybody's fault on one side of it or the other, but it's just kind of what it is. So. That is, uh, we've actually thrown some ideas around. One of the other ideas out of uh, somebody's helping our campaign out is inside uh, the conception of RAM Connect. It's uh, in the works, it's pretty conceptual, but uh, this guy Nathan Fiegler has actually created this. It's been uh, pretty interesting. It's actually sort of a, a, it can be real popular for CSU students to go for everything from um, selling minutes. your, what? Explain um, Yeah, um, you could go there and sell your textbooks, you could go on blog, you could be like a massive RAM talk. You this online domain where you can uh, uh, talk with other CSU students, uh, help out with homework assignments, network with other people in the community, have somebody to talk to in the middle of the day. Tutoring. Um, yeah, tutoring, a lot of different things.